In today's video, we will be exploring the newly constructed Freetown International Airport in Lungi, Sierra Leone. We will delve into why this airport is so significant, its impact on the Lungi community, and why it hasn't yet seen the patronage it deserves from the citizens. Note that this is the only international airport in Sierra Leone built at a cost of $270 million. It was completed and launched in 2023 in Lungi Town, Sierra Leone. Lungi is a town located on the outskirts of Freetown, Sierra Leone's capital. The town can only be accessed by water, requiring travelers to take a ferry. Since the launch of the airport in Lungi, the town has started receiving increased attention. However, this attention isn't as significant as expected, and it hasn't yet translated into substantial growth for the town. Lungi is filled with potential and opportunities, especially following the airport's creation. The community has become a prime location for development, yet despite these opportunities, the town isn't growing fast enough. One of the things that I noticed about this airport is, it's built, like I said, it's built in a town called Lungi. Lungi is not really a very developed town. However, because this airport is newly constructed, the goal was for them to locate the airport in Lungi so that Lungi can begin to, you know, grow and develop as fast as possible, just the same way Freetown has grown and developed. The airport itself is one of the best on the African continent, equipped with modern facilities. It was built in collaboration with the Turkish government, which adds an international dimension to its construction and operational standard. Despite its state-of-the-art infrastructure, the airport has seen little patronage. One significant reason is the high taxes passengers have to pay. To repay the investment from the Turkish collaborators, the Sierra Leonean government imposed the hefty tax on passengers using the airport. This has discouraged frequent use by both local and international travelers. So guys, one of the challenges I have with this airport, you know, is that it's not busy. It's not busy compared to other airports in other countries. The only flights, I've been here for a couple of days, four or five days, and the only flights I have seen leaving this airport is DHL flights, DHL planes. It's not busy, you know, if it is Nigeria that this airport is located, it will be so busy, not just being busy, but a lot of businesses would have sprung up around the airport. But, I mean, you can see that we've driven, we've driven, driving around the airport, I mean, up until this point, you could see the kind of houses around the airport, the kind of businesses, right? A lot of people are not spotting the potential here in Sierra Leone. There is a lot of potential people need to know about. This kind of airport is here. Then secondly, I heard that a lot of people, you know, um, in Sierra Leone go to Guinea to get flights. This is the first international airport that they have, if not the only international airport, the only international airport. And most of your citizens in Sierra Leone go to Guinea to get flights, you know, because probably the cost is too, is too much. Or even um, another challenge I also saw again is that you have to take a ferry just to get to this place. It's not supposed to be so. The creation of this airport is undoubtedly a step in the right direction for the government. However, for this development to be fully realized, two critical steps need to be taken. First, the government needs to build a bridge linking Freetown to the Lungi community. Currently, the only access is by ferry, which can be inconvenient and time-consuming. A bridge would significantly improve accessibility and could transform Lungi into one of the most sought-after locations in Sierra Leone. Secondly, the government should consider reducing or removing the tax imposed on passengers. This reduction would likely increase the number of travelers using the airport, thereby boosting local businesses and promoting tourism. A bridge connecting Freetown and Lungi would not only ease travel, but also encourage investment in the region. This infrastructural development could spur economic growth, creating jobs, and improving living standards in Lungi. Additionally, a reduction in airport taxes would make air travel more affordable, attracting more visitors and enhancing the airport's utilization. While the new Freetown International Airport in Lungi is a remarkable achievement, its full potential is yet to be realized. With improved accessibility through a bridge and reduced passenger taxes, Lungi could transform into a bustling hub of activity, benefiting both the local community and the nation as a whole. Good 
morning. Morning, sir. How are you doing? My way is Ah, the keeper. The bank. Thank you. No, I'm going to leave now. I'm not even coming to the room. You can go this way. Thank you. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. This is the. How do you even find out about it? Me. Yeah. How do you find out? I don't know if I came here. Are you serious? <laughs> we want to go bank here. Yeah. Uh -uh. Or you can do a few videos. Just go end to end. Just make sure. Okay. 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 Yeah. What's the security guy? Let well, me just check. Until until they talk. Mm, like then me and you walk. Then you walk together. Wow, guys, this is really really good. Okay, August next month. Okay, really good. Uh, so, but I don't want them to stop me. Eh? Eh, the airport is not that busy. Is it any of the bank or just you pick just one? Is it like any of the bank? Uh, any, 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 or is there a particular any, any one? Of the and all of them want so the immediately get there, they'll be calling for you. Are you serious? Let me just ask you can do Okay, okay. Good morning. There, this is an opportunity for people to tap in. So if perhaps you are from Sierra Leone and uh, you are in the UK, in the US, wherever, trust me, Lunge is the next place to be. If you are from Sierra Leone, you know every year when it starts raining, what happens in Freetown. Even this year, I think about two weeks ago, we all know what has happened. You see? So, Lunge, I feel like um, the only, I've actually heard that um, the government wants to uh, construct a bridge connecting Lunge and Freetown. And for me, I feel like if the government does that, to be honest with you, it is going to be a game changer for Lunge. You know, Lungi is a land of opportunity. There's a lot of things to do here in Lungi. You know, this airport is freshly built. Um, the design, the architecture, the architecture of this airport is up to the highest standard. Very beautiful airport. And having this kind of airport in Lungi should, you know, should bring a lot of development into this town. But it seems that the development is kind of slow. You know, and that is due to two important reasons. The, number one, there is no bridge connecting Freetown to Lungi. So for you to get to this international airport, the only international airport here in Syria alone, you need a ferry to get here. So having a bridge would also bring the development that the government wants in this town. Number two, right, the, um, the airport is not too busy. You know, even if we are just having um, just a ferry, a lot of people prefer to go to Guinea to take the use road to, to go to Guinea and take flights from Guinea. Guinea is the nearest neighboring country, by the way. Imagine your your own citizens going to the, your neighboring country to take a flight. You guys already saw the video from um, the um, beginning of our walk up until this point. How scanty the airport is, which is not supposed to be so. So I encourage the government, there's a lot we can do here in Longi. There's a lot that can be done. Just two important things. Do a bridge and, you know, figure out why people are going to Guinea and cop that. And I think Longi would be the next choicest location to be in. You understand? And even with the land here, um, I mean, with the airport here, lands here are very, very affordable. It's not supposed to be so. The land should be so expensive. You know, so I think there's so much we can do. All right, so guys, I'll, with that, I'll call it a wrap on today's episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. Guys, I want to use this opportunity because I am on a journey from Nigeria to Senegal. And we just stopped by here in Syria alone. We need your support. Please, I need your help to get to Senegal by donating, um, you know, to help us complete our journey. There is a link in my description called Buy Me A Coffee. Can buy as many coffee as you can from five dollar to ten dollar to a hundred dollar your support will really go a long way for us and help us complete our journey 
Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.